Hi everyone, Courtney Martin here. In this video, we are gonna go through how to keep your doodles beard nice and white. Max just got home from the dog park. So as you can see, he's got a little bit of discoloration going on. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. Um, keep in mind before I do any grooming at home, I do brush him thoroughly. So if you haven't watched any of those videos, go ahead and take a peek. Um, so you have a clear understanding of what steps I take, you know, when it comes to keeping his beard um, bright white, his comb looking, or his uh, coat looking great. Um, and so yes, you definitely wanna brush your doodle before you even think about bathing them. So all of those steps have been done. And now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the products that I use for his beard. So this is step number one when it comes to keeping your doodle's beard nice and white. Uh, I came across this product, I think it's been about, oh my goodness, I'm, well, Max was born March 2016, so you know I pretty much got this actually before I even brought Max home because I heard how great it is, and you guys, it actually really does work very well. Um, I, as I go, I'll also be testing other products too, so um, you know, as you guys know, I'm not brand specific. I'm always open to trying new things. So um, in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and use this. This is all I've tried really so far. Um, however, I will share a whole bunch of different products as we go to see if I find one that works even better. So I'm going to go ahead and get Max um, wet, essentially. He's in the bath right now. Um, I do use this right here just to, you know, soak his coat. And then I'll go ahead and show you how, you know, the shampoo works and the steps that I take. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the white on white shampoo just into my hand here. And um, what I do just to hold him still, because I mean, you know, after all they are, they are dogs. And um, you know, it, it takes a little bit of handling the first few times that you put this product on. So you can see here that I'm just lathering it up into his beard. I even go around his mouth. And this product is made for dogs, so it's fine to use around the mouth area. Obviously our goal is to not get it directly in their mouth, of course. So as you can see, I'm just lathering it up here, especially near the front areas of his mouth. And, and I mean, you know, we're being real here. It's not, it's, uh, it's not going to always be a very easy process. I mean, we're essentially putting shampoo around our dog's mouth and it's not something that they're going to love. I mean, we wouldn't either. Right. So I'm just going to lather it up, get the areas that tend to get wet the most. So just think of it as, you know, when your dog eats and drinks water, where are the areas that get that tend to get wet the most? And so that's what I'm gonna focus on right now. So the tip or the big, I guess the big trick that I recommend is essentially to do one lather. I leave this on for about two minutes and then I go ahead and um, rinse this out thoroughly and then I apply another coat. So this is gonna be the first round that I do. And yeah, I'm just gonna leave it on for about two minutes because this product actually works pretty quickly. So there's no reason to leave it on too long. And then I'm gonna go ahead, rinse it off, and then jump right into the second coat. So, I mean, as you can see, I'm doing my best to try to avoid, you know, getting it into his mouth. Um, but this product is specifically designed for dogs, so be as careful as you can, but there's no reason to freak out if your dog happens to lick an area where the shampoo is. A good trick though, if the fur around your dog's mouth is a little bit longer, um, this is what I personally do, so you can see he's licking it. I just kind of lift that hair up and I try to bring it up on top of his nose, so you know, the chances of him Licking it are still pretty high, but at least he's gonna get less of the soap in his mouth. All right guys, so I'm gonna check back with you in two minutes. I just wanted to check in with you guys to show you that sometimes I go in and actually apply a little bit more of the purple shampoo, um, you know, while he's waiting, just so it's got that purple hue to it. So essentially all I did is I went in and I grabbed more shampoo 
from the bottle and just sort of applied it almost, you know, just to keep that purple color to it while it's sitting there. And so again, I just sort of move all of the long hair, you know, up and away from his mouth as much as I can. All right, so I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit longer and I'll come right back and check in with you guys. All right guys, so I wanna give you a nice visual as to how I put the shampoo, the purple shampoo, on Max's coat. So I get it on one hand, I go ahead, rub it in both, and then I focus on the area, of course, where I want to apply it. So you don't have to be rough, I mean just, you know, rub it in like any normal shampoo. And uh, to go ahead and get the feet, just gently lift up the, the paw, and there you go. It can be a little awkward, of course, when you're training for the first few times, but again, they'll get used to it. Um, you know, don't worry about the purple shampoo getting on your tub, essentially, because it does wash off nicely. There's nothing to worry about in regards to staining. So again, it's not Max's favorite thing, like it likely won't be um, your pup's favorite activity either, but over time, they do get used to it. It's just, you know, a common standard practice when it comes to grooming. So it's important that we train them. All right, guys. So now we're at the stage where I'm rinsing out all of the purple shampoo from Max's coat. So that includes his face, his legs, and his feet. And then I'm going to go forward and use a nice gentle shampoo all over the rest of his body. Um, for this tutorial, for the whitening, I'm only going to focus on his feet and his face because actually... The rest of his coat is really bright white already. So if there's only certain areas that I need to focus on with the whitening, that's all I'll use it for. So, you know, uh, the first few times I used the whitening shampoo, I did use it all over his body, but I tend to avoid using it on areas that really don't need the whitening. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and use this gentle shampoo here um, all over the rest of Max's body. I will also go over his legs, feet, and face again. You don't need to use a lot of this because it is concentrated, so I just put, you know, an amount, not a whole ton, in my hand, and I go ahead and lather it up into Max's coat. So remember, I'm gonna go through his whole body, which does include his face, and his legs, again, where the purple shampoo was. So I'm gonna go ahead and lather Max up completely. I don't let this sit on his coat. This is a really great product to just really get all of that dirt and grime out of his coat. Not to mention, like I said, if you have a dog with a long coat like this, like check out how long Max's hair is down here. Jeez, that's almost like a solid, four to five inches of length. So you can see he's actually, his frame is like a doodle. He's not a wide guy, but I have all of this hair hanging down. And so, you know, if he does go pee essentially and gets it on his coat, uh, I know I'm not a really big fan of that. So <laughs> that's why I do use this gentle shampoo on him once a week. And um, a reminder when it comes to whitening, that's not something I do every single week. Maybe I'll do it once or twice a month, but this gentle shampoo, you could definitely use no problem once a week. And I did run it by my vet. He actually uses the same shampoo and he washes his dog once a week as well. So this procedure is totally vet approved. I never guess at what I'm doing. I always approach professionals in the industry first. So anything I discuss in our videos, I have talked to an expert in the industry. Okay guys, so here I am rinsing all of the product out of Max's coat right now, all of the shampoo. And so what I do is I go through um, and really rinse out Max's coat well once. And you know, as soon as I think I've got all the shampoo out, I'm actually gonna go through his entire coat once more. Because the last thing that we want is to leave the shampoo, any shampoo essentially, on their skin because that's a cause, just like it is for humans, for that red, you know, itchy, irritated skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse through Max's entire coat and then I'll touch base with you guys. All right guys, so as you can see, I rinsed out all of the shampoo from Max's coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and reapply the purple shampoo to his mouth area and his feet, as well as his legs where there's the most discoloration. Again, I am not using it in the areas that are already pretty white, because I can see it's already whitening him up quite a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and reapply the purple shampoo and I'll let that sit for another two minutes. 
All right, so the two minutes is up. I always kind of just give it one last quick little foam up and I'm gonna go ahead and rinse all of this from Max's coat. And um, I'm gonna check back with you guys once all the product is thoroughly removed. All right guys, now we're on to the conditioning stage of the bathing process. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a small amount of this. This is concentrated as well. I'm going to lather it up through Max's coat and then I'm simply going to rinse it out. So now I'm ready to go through with the conditioner on Max's coat. So same thing with the shampoo, I go ahead and I rub it on both hands. And then I go through Max's, um, primarily I focus on the top of his coat because just like the shampoo, it will actually rinse down his entire body. Um, I do use my fingers essentially, you know, as a comb and to spread the product all the way down and through um, every little bit of his coat, including his, you know, his feet his underarms and essentially the areas where there's friction in the skin. So, you know, where the areas rub together, that's where the hair is gonna rub together and those pesky little mats will form. So I'm gonna go ahead and rub this concentrated cowboy magic shampoo throughout Max's entire coat. Again, I only use the amount that you saw was enough of the product to actually go through his entire coat, including his head and everything. You don't need a ton of it. All right guys, so I've gone through and thoroughly rinsed out all of the product from Max's coat. Um, it's quite exhausting for them. And one reminder, if you guys have plans to go anywhere, this is not the time to bath your pup because it does take a lot of patience and it does take a lot of time. Um, you know, when I'm gonna go through the entire bathing process, um, including the whitening with Max, I always set aside at least, you know, anywhere between I'll even say two to four hours because depending on how long the coat, your doodle's coat is, I'm not kidding. There has been times where it's taken me, you know, three to four hours um, prior to a photo shoot. Um, but yeah, so depending on how quick you are. Um, the biggest thing though is guys, sometimes I know it can be frustrating, especially when you're going through training or if you have a very active or hyper pup. As I was shooting this, I did have to go through a lot of positive reinforcements with Max because as you can see he's kind of he's kind of done with the bath like he's ready to get out and so I did have to um, you know just take a minute to give him a treat tell him everything is all good and also keep myself in check because you know sometimes it, you could feel frustrated and our dogs definitely feel that coming from us so you know even as I'm recording this uh, like I said, I'm talking to him. I'm trying to make him feel comfortable. And I'm also keeping myself and my emotions in check as well. So uh, just a reminder. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the actual dryer that I use. So, you know, the drying process goes as quickly as possible. All right, guys, so we are at the hair drying part of the grooming phase. So I did the full shampoo, the whitening, the conditioning. Now it's time to dry this guy off. Um, you know what, having a bath and grooming is kind of, it can be pretty stressful on your, your doodle. So um, just a reminder, if you are using a hair dryer, when you plug it in, make sure it's not on because that just happened to me. This um, is called the Air Force Commander. It's by Metrovac. Uh, it's going to be listed in the description below. All the products I use for all the videos that I create will be listed below. So always be sure to check that out. But I plugged this in and uh, it was actually on and this thing is, it's a little on the loud side. So um, this air dryer is perfect to use if you live in a house. If you live in a condo or an apartment, it might be too loud. Okay guys, so I wanted to take a quick break to show you the difference in the speeds when it comes to this Air Force Commander. So um, right now his hair is about 90% dry. It looks super fluffy and super dry but it isn't, I actually use a brush to finish the process so it dries out really nice and straight. Um, it does feel like luxurious bunny rabbit for right now, it's actually pretty wild. Um, as you can tell, he's a little bit stressed out at the moment, he's ready to go outside and run around and have fun to decompress. I mean, this is a really exhausting process for them and it can be for us, you know, <laughs> let's be honest, but the more we do it, the more they do it, uh, it's just a lot better for everyone, um, most importantly for your pup. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the sound and air pressure difference. So this is the low option.
and this is the high option. All right guys, so Max is about 90% dry, and so I'm gonna go ahead and use the pin brush. I'll show you just to remind you which brush it is. This one here, to show you how I'm going to go through Max's coat and really straighten it out so it has a beautiful, straight, fluffy look to it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the air dryer on again, so it's gonna be a little bit noisy, but I'll just give you the general idea of what I do when I use the pin brush along with the Air Force Commander dryer, which I love. It's so much faster to blow dry their hair. But if you do, again, if you live in a condo or an apartment, I totally hear you. I just use um, a handheld hair dryer, and so it does take a lot of time. But if you do live in a house, this really cuts down so much of the drying time. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on uh, the Air Force Commander. It will be a little bit loud, but I'll just give you a visual on um, how the pin brush works with this part of the process. Okay guys, now that you have a general idea on what it takes to blow dry your pup with a pin brush and a hair dryer, I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing that through Max's entire coat. That includes his head and his paws, of course. Um, really important, make sure that you get the root, um, the root of their hair nice and dry. Because as you can see here, um, you know, this section, you don't wanna leave that because that's the perfect place, you know, for bacteria growth. You really wanna make sure that you go through and really get those roots nice and dry. So as you can see right here, yes, it looks like everything is taken care of and it's it's dry, but it really isn't. Let's check out those roots. So again, I'm gonna go through, I'm going to blow dry his coat so it's nice and straight, and I will touch back with you guys as soon as that's done. One tip that I wanted to mention is to get this beautiful rabbit-like luxurious fluffy coat. I do go in with this slicker brush. So as I am blow drying, I'm tightening the fur essentially. So I'm making it nice and straight. And then I go ahead and I use the air dryer just like I did with the pin brush to dry Max's coat. So it's beautiful, smooth, soft, and nice and straight. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do that with the air dryer. Okay guys, I wanted to give you a clear visual as to what Max looks like after the full grooming routine. So this is, you know, after a nice beard whitening. Um, look how bright white it is. I mean, this is zero editing. This is, you know, natural sunlight. So he literally looks like a fluffy bunny rabbit right now. He's pretty exhausted. That was a long grooming routine. So I'm gonna let him go and just have fun in the backyard. I mean, it was a long time for him. It was a long time for me, but check this out. We are ready for a photo shoot. So guys, if you have any questions, of course, as you know, comment below, comment in our Facebook group. Uh, most importantly, join our Facebook group, find us on YouTube, and we also have an Instagram account. So it's a lot of fun. Um, I do interview a lot of professionals in the industry. So we are going to be on the up and up on what is, you know, the latest, best, and favorite products out there for doodles. So I'm really looking forward to getting to know everyone in our group. I'm going to go play with this little guy. Really proud of him right now. And I may or may not have a glass of wine. <laughs> okay, guys. Have a great day. We'll chat soon.